Hello everybody, uh, making a real quick little follow up here to my battery extender for my T3i. Uh, it's an extra battery grip, I guess, not necessarily an extender. It does hold two batteries. The kit that I bought comes with four batteries and the holder. It was a great deal. Um, you can see my earlier video I'd done of this. The um, couple nice things about it I like is it gives you a little extra grip when you're holding on to it. When you basically hold your hand Let's see if I can get this to even work here. Maybe. When you put your hand here, it does give you someplace else to rest your pinky. So normally it would actually stop right at this line. And when you'd hold your hand there, you would only get your top three fingers. So your pinky would kind of be drifting off. It gives you enough room for your pinky to go ahead and hold on there, which is really nice. Because you can see your third finger, ring finger, would kind of be at the very bottom of the camera so it does add quite a bit of weight to your camera i didn't take the time to actually weigh this out i probably should have um the biggest complaint i would probably say i have with it is the mount for it basically it just i don't know it screws up in it seems like that screw that's in the bottom of the grip doesn't seem to stay quite as tight as i would like which is where my wrist strap hooks into so i don't know if it's the wrist strap bolt or if it's the actual nut there when i put it on the tripod without the wrist strap it also tends to want to loosen off a little bit so i'm thinking it's the threading in it itself that's a little bit of a problem but i mean again like i said not really a big deal there so we'll go ahead and turn this around and the other nice thing, it does have a locking battery door, so it doesn't come open very easily. Unless you just put your thumbnail in the hole, pull down, and it does a nice little quarter twist, and the batteries pop right out. So I do have my batteries labeled. That way when I'm using them, I keep them in order, keep them together, and that way they get the same cycles throughout. Um, pops right back in again, twist up, and all you can do clip back in tight so the nice thing a couple nice things about it i like is just like i said i've already listed a couple the other thing here let me get it off the tripod the other nice thing is when you're using it in portrait mode you do have the extra finger grip and the dial just like you would have on top of your camera regularly so see the button there for the to actually your shutter button and your dial works just the same as it does on your actual camera. So when you're holding your camera up, it works out great. It also has on the front here, if you're doing your live view, it has the zoom in and out on live view. Also has basically all the buttons you would have on your actual camera. So works great. It also does come with a on off switch. So when you're using it, if you don't want to be using the portrait part, you can turn it off, and like I have it now. If you bump it into something, it doesn't take a picture on you automatically. So it's kind of nice, and it has the lock on there. The one thing I had somebody ask me was, how well does it do? What all? Let's see if I can get it back on here again. What all the display on here does. So I did not actually think to look at that yet, so... Let's see if I can figure out what it's going to tell me right here. And at the moment, I guess I can't figure that out because like an idiot, I took my memory card out because I got done taking a bunch of pictures. I'm downloading it right at the moment. So anyway, I'll have to figure that back out for you guys and um, let you know. I'll probably just post that in a comment at the bottom of this thing and so making a whole other video for it. So I would definitely say the build quality compared to an actual Canon or a name brand unit is definitely less, but I have not had an ounce of problem with it, except that quarter inch thread bolt in the bottom for the tripod mount is just a little bit, I don't know, it doesn't seem to want to grab quite as good. I could use the rapid strap recommendation, which is kind of spit on it or lick it. A little bit of water they claim lost a thread inch a little tighter when it dries out. It basically makes a tighter grip. So I will definitely try that next time I take the wrist strap or the hand strap off, wrist strap, and go from there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this little update and have yourself a safe and wonderful day.